welcome back guys to another youtube video now in today's video i'm going to be explaining three top forex mistakes to avoid so guys before before i continue with this video please let me first give you like one minute or to 50 seconds you first subscribe and also like to this video i'm going to give you like 50 seconds now i think you have subscribed to you for this video on this channel now we are going to go now why are we recommending you to subscribe guys we want you to be the first person to be notified whenever we upload a new video like this so do subscribe and also like this video plus hitting all the links in the description because most of the links are so valuable to you guys we make research and give you valuable information we by the forex brokers we do use both crypto and forex our free telegram channel which we recommend you to join now and start getting free content and free signals also hit the link in the description and also sign up with our reliable forex broker which is in phoenix capital at the moment which we are using now without wasting time our today's topic is top 30 forex mistakes to avoid now common forex mistakes to avoid and how to mistakes and how to avoid them first number one using high amounts of leverage now this is also another point which most traders do not take as serious now leverage remember really leverage is the amount of money your broker is willing to lend you such that you can trade what you didn't like what you can't afford to trade now leverage helps you to be with some amount of money which you can use to trade some instruments which are so valuable like indices and commodities so if you have an account of like 50 dollars there is no way you can trade a place on nasdaq or us study why you don't have the amount of money or the leverage or equity which is going to help you out to place this trade now you'll find a person is using a lot of leverage now if you are using a leverage of one to one to one thousand one to two thousand one to three thousand that is a lot of leverage guys because remember this leverage the broker gets the amount of money of deposited if it is five thousand if it is let me say $500 that means your broker is going to multiply that $500 times the leverage which you have asked for so let me give you a little bit example if you go to my calculator here you'll find if you have deposited if you have deposited $300 and you're using leverage of one to three thousand so that means you're going to get the three hundred dollars times the leverage which you have used so that means your your account in brief your broker is going to be lending you almost you're going to be trading with almost nine hundred nine hundred thousand us dollars so that means there is no trade you are not going to be affordable to place but remember this amount of money is for the broker it is not on your balance it's not on your equity you get it but it is in the system so if that trade doesn't go your way you don't have all this buff of the nine hundred thousand dollars if the trade goes your way like 10 pips let me say you're using lot size one that is 100 dollars you'll have the equity of 400 dollars but this trade if it comes if it doesn't go your way that means you're going to also to be in a loss of 100 dollars so if it doesn't go your way 30 pips that means you're going to you have lost your account of the 300 dollars but why because of using high leverage the top leverage you have to use is at least one to five hundred let me hope we are together now another point is not paying attention to the techno technical trading indicators 
so we as the fx slaves we tend to take price action like our priority we do not use indicators we do not use uh, robots we do not use we use pure price action whereby our chart is always clean so we start from the higher time frame scrolling down up to the lower time frame and we actually predict where the market is heading according to the market structure we are seeing currently so if you're there and you'd like to know how we analyze the market please subscribe to our youtube channel which is fx fx dave's market analysis you will see our market breakdown on a weekly basis we upload videos on a weekly basis tending to analyze the forex market to analyze all instruments commodities current spares indices vix indexes all these pairs so hit the link in the description and also check out our reliable uh, i mean check out our youtube channel for analysis where we analyze the forex market on a daily basis okay now you have to pay attention to the technical trading indicators so you have to master the price action how it works in order for you to avoid making a lot of mistakes in the market because if you are trading price action let me give you an example of like a trend line bounce now you know that when the market approaches this trend line let me say three times now the fourth time when this market comes to again approach this particular trend line it can be a resistance trend line or a support trend line you are waiting for that bounce or price rejection so after the hour closing with the price rejection that means you'll be jumping in with either your sell positions or buying positions why you already know that the market always respects this particular resistance trend line or support trend line so pay attention or giving time to backtesting that particular strategy you are using such that you know, can avoid most of the mistakes which are being done by the beginners in the market now another point is revenge trading now revenge trading comes along with you after making a lot of losses and you tend to recover back your money so that's that's where psychology comes from you know in trading we always have these bad months we always have these bad trading weeks so what are you supposed to do after you making a loss before you trade another before you place another trade first go back and back test that particular trade which has not gone your way so after you realizing that mistake walk through the current spares which you are focusing on after start back testing and wait for your confirmation to place another trade so if you place another trade and also that trade doesn't go your way you are done with that day close your laptop relax go get something to cool out your stress it, you can go out for a walk you can watch some movies you can go just with other friends like do not place more trades that day because you have you have already experienced losses that day so do not trade anymore just watch out and leave your laptop and walk away so revenge trading is also one of the factors you have to avoid when you're trading forex our last point is taking positions anticipating anticipating the news now there are some traders who focus on trading fundamentals but fundamentals these are like on 10 times you can win fundamentals you can win trading fundamentals two times because whatever thing we come out to speak we already we already tested it there's no way you can tell me you can win all the same times trading fundamentals no way because the news when it's being released out you don't know where the the direction this news is going to take most of the cases this news do not follow technical analysis some of the on 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 100 percent you will find the news following technical analysis like 80 percent by the 20 percent you find it first speaking up making a price rejection also also speaking down so 
if you have stop losses in that particular area that means all these stop losses they're going to be stop hunt stop hunted you get so when you are taking your position anticipating the news it's also another mistake you have to avoid make your fundamental analysis analyzing what news are going to be released in that particular day go back to your technical analysis see what is the market respecting as the, as the market respected your analysis if yes if you see the moment you're going to place your trades is the moment they are going to release the news that's our same hour first relax wait for the news to be released and see how the market is going to react in that particular news then after you can place your trades and watch out the market i don't know whether we are together before you place your trades first analyze your forex factory which is the website we use when you're analyzing the fundamental analysis if you don't see any news which is going to affect your trade you are free to place your trade if you find there is news in the same period when you are going to be placing your trades first wait for those news to be released after you can place your running trades so thank you guys for those who have made for for those who have made it to, to the end of this video i think we have learned a lot so do like subscribe and also comment down in the description what you have learned in this video and also sign up with our reliable forex broker and also do follow us on our social media platforms all the links are down in the description fx devs your mentors signing out